can do anything I want to do. Hey guys, so this video is going to be a little more serious. Um, I want to talk about the whole anxiety and depression thing. So here lately I've been getting emails, um, DMs from Instagram. Y'all been finding me on Facebook. <laughs> um, I'm, I don't know, I haven't received any from Snapchat yet, but um, everybody is having like the same problem. Really, they just want to know how to beat it. And if I had any tips for them, um, if I could just help them. Um, I know how you guys feel. I've been where you are. I've been in that stage where I just didn't want to live anymore. I, as you all, if you if you watch my video on my testimony, then you know this. I prayed. I said, God, please don't wake me up. And here I am today, alive and well, happy, married, children, life is good. And the reason I wanted to make this video is because I feel like um, every a lot of people are having the same questions and it may help somebody else out there who hasn't reached out to me, um, to my email or anything like that yet. But every time someone um, sends me a message, the first question I usually have, because I need a little bit of background information, so I will ask you um, what your beliefs, like are you plugged into a good church? Because let me tell you, you guys know I'm, I'm Christian. I'm not downing any other religion out there, but that's what I believe. And I really believe and truly believe that this really helped me with overcoming my anxiety and depression. So the first thing I'll ask you is um, that you get plugged into a really good church, a really great church that's teaching the Bible, um, they're not compromising or standing on his word, um, because that's really important. Um, if you watch, go back and watch my testimony video if you haven't watched it already, since I'm going to be referring to it a lot. Um, that really helped me. I got in the word. I, I stopped trying to do it on my own, and I gave it to God. I seeked after him. I stopped worrying about the material things and just everything out there that was distracting me, I let it go. And so that's the, that's the, a big thing right there. You want to be plugged inside a very good church because church is a positive environment. It uplifts you. Um, I know people say, oh, I've been church hurt or church is not that great. Church is this, is this. You are the church. So church is what you make of it. Um, but the, the, the biggest thing about it is being around other believers. When you go in there and you, you, um, surround yourself with positive people, you surround yourself with people who are doing positive things and, um, happy people, it just, it will just uplift your spirit and what they have will rub off on you. And the next thing you know, your mind will will start to drift off and you, you'll forget about anxiety and depression. You'll forget about how you was feeling and one day you're going to wake up and be like, oh, I didn't realize it was gone because that's, that's pretty much what happened to me. Um, yeah, so, I mean, seek after God. Get into the Word. Read those scriptures, those scriptures that I gave you guys. I mean, and then a lot of it's in our minds. We change our minds. We change our lives. So if you can just surround yourself with people who are doing uplifting things, you'll, your spirit will get uplifted. You will be in a better place. Your mind will change. You will stop um, having those negative thoughts. If you have people who are putting you down every day, you may have to cut them off. You have family, friends, it doesn't matter who they are. If you have to cut them off, you have to cut them jokers off. And surround yourself with the, the uplifting great people. I, I just can't stress it enough how your environment can change everything for you. Everything for you. I mean, just try it out. Um, I, I told this one guy this, and um, he let me know. He, he came back to me. 
uh, probably like a month or so later and he told me he said I did everything that you said and it's just it's starting to go away he said the symptoms are fading like I'm, I'm feeling so much better he said uh, he got in he, he was already in church but he like really put himself in it he was going to church like three to four times a week whenever they were having Bible study um, anything they were having a musical a concert and, you know he was just so saturating himself with the word and his life is changing and I just wanted to let you guys know that um, God is real and he'll do it for you you just have to believe you have to have faith and you have to do your part and your part is going to be getting your mind right and reading your word studying your word getting those scriptures embedded in your heart your mind like oh my gosh i had those scriptures were memorized and oh my god oh my god guys if you really are serious about being anxiety and depression then take these tips that i'm giving you and try them out apply them to your life um yeah so this is what worked for me um i know everybody's not the same but I just wanted to put it out there and I hope you guys have a blessed day. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and share this video because you never know who else is going through it out there. I got so many comments, messages. I had no idea when I made that video that the response was going to be like that. So, I mean, have another thing you guys need to have hope in and faith in and think about the fact that you're not alone. There's tons of other people in the world going through the same thing. And, and you should find joy in knowing that not all of those people are still going through it today. If they can be healed, if I can be healed, and you can be healed. Thanks for watching again. I'm sorry I, I went back into the video, but thumbs up this video, share it, and leave a comment below. You know, if you have a testimony, if you want to tell your story, share it below. You never know who you can help. And thanks for watching again. Have a blessed night. Bye-bye.